You something you said. You said this was fun to play. Yeah. But there were a lot of heavy moments in this film. Yeah. When you play a role like that, what do you do to decompress other than reality TV? Well, you know, I, it's a little bit reality TV. I, I mean, I do love reality. I have kids and a family, so there's only so much that you can do, right? Yeah. You come home. I have an incredible partner, but we travel as a tribe. We go everywhere together. So there's like there's still a responsibility of being a a wife and a, a mom that I love. So my version of unwinding is I come home, my husband hands me a glass of wine, and I sit there and I decompress. Like I watch, I mean I do. I watch reality TV or I read some dumb articles, or I try not to like focus or hyper focus on something. But or we just hang out and sit outside and have a conversation about the day. And I, I get it. Reality TV is how I decompress, or I go on it. I mean, you know. There's two reality shows that I love. Well, that's not true. Let me think about it before I lie. But I think there's only two reality shows that I watch every year. Bachelor, Bachelorette, and, and, and um, Paradise. I consider that one, right? Okay, okay. That bachelor world. Yes. That's one. And then Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But whatever. <laughs> who cares? It's all topic completely. I would take my kids to a concert. Okay, mm -hmm. my husband and I took our kids to this concert called Kids Bop. Yes. At the Hollywood Bowl. Okay? <laughs> and our kids were there. And we're sitting. And the kids are, like, dancing. They're having the time. with Everybody was and there. And this is where they play the adult songs, Kids. Correct. Okay. So okay. they'll do like Lizzo and everything, okay. but kid versions. Okay. And all the parents are like rocking out because it's the same song. They just changed the lyrics. But everybody, everybody went, but no one talked to each other until you were there. And you're like, oh my God. Anyways, I'm sitting there and you, it's at the bowl. Uh -huh. So you can have a glass of uh, whatever you'd like. Yes. Water or whatever beverage. So um, Ashton goes, gets me like a little margarita and I'm sitting there sipping my margarita and I'm like bumping out to Lizzo. And I look to the side and there's a real housewife of Beverly Hills there. And I will not give the name, okay? But there was a, a lady there with her children. And uh, this is me. I don't know if you can, I'm going to say, I literally went, oh my God! I stood up and yelled, oh my God, in the direction of this woman. And then I went, oh my God, oh my God. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. I don't know if she caught it, because luckily there's like music. Sure, sure. But I saw her turn around to talk to someone, and I was like, ah! <laughs> What is wrong with no, me? No, you're all of us. Congrats on this movie. I watched it last <clears throat> night for you. When this novel came out, it was huge yeah. and it obviously best selling, but it had such a following to it. So quite naturally, it makes sense to put this together on film. For you, why did you want to jump in and be a part of this? And then also as a producer, like what stood out to you? It was a great book mm -hmm. and the script was so good, mm -hmm. but there was a, the ending needed to be shifted a little bit. And mm -hmm. that's what we really worked on before I signed on. And I was like, if, I'm, if you will allow me to be a part of this process, I do want to jump on as a producer with my whole production team, so we can all work together on this. And to me, this project, the character was so fun to play and it was so nuanced. And there was a couple elements in the film that I thought needed to be so beautifully handled. And I trusted Mark and I trusted Jess but I also was like, I'd love to be able to be a part of the latter part of the process. The ultimate her of today is all of us. We all have a version of ourselves that we put forward and we all have an internal dialogue that we never say out loud. You said that uh, like Ani, Tiffany is us. And you know, maybe it's different circumstances that lead us to that point in our life, but yeah. that's all of us in certain yeah. ways. And I was gonna ask you, do you feel that way? Maybe as an actress of maybe seeming like you have to put it all together or have it together at times? I think I'm really fortunate. I have, I, I, there's lots of things wrong with me, but this happens to not be one of them. <laughs> I have a very healthy relationship with acting, mm -hmm. with my career, but I, who I am and what I do, two very different things. So I never felt like I needed to put on a persona in order to protect myself. Yeah. I also, for better or for worse, somehow never had to get on social media. It's some, I was like, I don't know what happened in my Good life where you. that thing went <laughs> past me. So I didn't have the um, the obsessive compulsive desire to see what people say about me all the time. It, it yeah. skipped. Like so, for me, the idea of code switching only comes from like what I want you to see, right? Like right. there's a version of me that I am with you. There's a version I am with my children, with my husband, with my parents, and so forth. But they're all pretty much on the same plane. Yeah. <laughs>